You can see some DC and UVW blower fan motors are placed here, which are usually used in the outdoor unit of mini split air conditioner. In these motors, one of the motors is a UVW fan motor. We can't differentiate between them, which is the UVW motor and which is the DC fan motor, because they are identical. So let me tell you its difference. First, let me show you where this motor is installed. Most of my friends know that a fan blade is installed in the front, and the motor is installed at the back. The blades also have differences. Some companies manufacture the blower with three blades. And some companies install the fan with two blades. Now let me explain to you which motors are the DC blower motors. And which is the UVW blower motor. This motor is a DC fan motor. Five wires are coming out of the motor. Due to these five wires in the motor, it is called a DC motor. Let me tell you what is the reason behind it. All the motors placed here have five wires except one of them. The connector of this motor also has five wires. This motor also has five wires. Other than this motor is also five wires DC motor. So this motor is left to be checked. This is also a DC motor. But also a called a UVW motor. It is called a UVW motor because it has three wires coming out. It has no other wire than these. Why this motor is called a UVW motor? Let me explain everything. The difference between the UVW DC and the DC fan blower motor is that the UVW blower motor will have only three wires. The specification sticker is present on this motor. You can check the specifications of the motor. This motor operates on DC 280 volts. The power of the motor is 41 watts. UVW is also mentioned with the wires of the motor. Now let me show the simple 5 wires DC fan blower motor specification sticker. This one is a Panasonic DC fan motor. This is a 65 watt motor. Operates with 380 DC volts. And this is how we can differentiate the difference between these motors through their specification sticker. If the motor has 5 wires, it means that the motor is a DC fan motor. Now let me explain to you the difference between the 5 and the 3 wires used in these blower motors. Before telling you that, let me clear you one other thing. These kinds of plastic motors are unrepairable. We can't repair these kinds of DC blower motors, as they are disposable motors, if these motors go bad. They are prioritized to throw away. And let me tell you the reason behind it why? These types of motors have a chance to be repaired if they go bad. As they are made from metal bodies. They can open easily and can be repaired. The motors in the plastic bodies are packed and can't be opened. This is the reason they are not repairable. These plastic body disposable motors are usually installed in the Mitsubishi air conditioner 4-ton outdoor unit. I have already opened a plastic body motor by cutting it. The motor circuit board is installed at its back. You can see why they are not repairable. These motors have 0% chance of being repaired. I have cut this motor just to show you that the DC motor control system is installed at the backside. And different voltages are passed through these motors. 320 volts on the first wire. Next is the ground. The next wire is 15 volts. Then the 5 volt wire. The last wire is the PG or feedback wire. The winding of this type of motor is present internally inside the body of the motor, which is completely packed. You can see this 3 pin over here. These are the output pins for this motor. If any coil burns inside the motor. Still, it is not repairable. As I have told you before, there are chances to repair this metal body blower motor. I have already opened one, which is a Mitsubishi DC motor. I am removing its cover from the top. See, it has easily opened up. This circuit board is installed here. The IPM is also installed on it. In case the IPM goes bad, we can replace it with a new one if it is available. If the winding goes bad, it can also be repaired. Now as you can see, I have separated the circuit from the motor. This is the control circuit through which this motor is controlled. We can also repair the winding of this motor too. You can see a wire has been burned in this motor winding. This wire has been disconnected in this motor. I removed it to show you all. And to see if we are able to repair it or not. So this is the problem with this motor. The IPM installed in this board of the DC motor has been burned. 
So the need is to replace its IPM. Other than this I will check what other thing is damaged in the board. This IC in this board also seems to be damaged. So I will try to repair it, probably in some other video. Why are these three wires in this UVWDC motor? Which is very simple. This type of motor has only this type of winding inside. It has no circuit board installed inside this motor. It is controlled by a circuit in the main motherboard. This video also has part 2 in which I am going to test these motors. Stay tuned for that one. Click on the left video to watch part 2 of this video. And I will see you there. And subscribe. Thank you.